This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, I get a red line when using Z-spheres to retopo. I can't click off or make it disappear. So this question was sent along with an image, and here we have the image here. So the user was using the Z-sphere topology to create new topology for their mesh, and then they clicked on a point and they generated this edge here, but now they could no longer manipulate this. So no matter if they clicked off, they couldn't make this line disappear. So why is this happening? So I'm just gonna hop over to ZBrush here, and I have the anime head here loaded in. So I'm just gonna go through the process really quick of a pending a Z-sphere to start creating new topology. So I'm gonna go to the tool palette, I'm gonna to go to the subtool area, and I'm gonna click this append button here. And clicking this append button is going to open up the quick pick menu. In here, I'm gonna select the Z-sphere. This is now going to append a Z-sphere subtool to my tool here. And I can click that Z-sphere. And now I can go down to the topology area. So go to tool and then go all the way down to the bottom to the topology, open that up. And then in here, you'll see there is an edit topology button. Now, when I click the edit topology button here, my model is gonna be shifted out of perspective. And now if I come across the surface of my mesh and simply click, again, it's going to start generating topology lines. So as you can see here, wherever I click on my mesh, it's going to start generating new topology. Now, when using this process here, you'll notice that there is one point that is highlighted, and this is where your next click is going to spawn a line from. So I'm gonna start from this part here, and if I click here, it's going to generate a edge from here to here. If I wanna select a new point, I can hold down control and then click on an existing point, and that will now highlight that point as a start, and then I can click and generate a new line from that. To remove points from your topology, you can hold down the Alt key and click. Now remove a point, then you can use control to generate where you wanna start from again, and then click, and now you can go through and start editing the topology of your mesh like so. So this will allow you to go through and quickly establish new topology for your models. Now as you're using this process, you may click, and then after you click, you may try to click again to add a new point, and nothing is going to happen. So you can see here, I can hold control to get a start point, and then I click, and nothing's happening. So I wanna start from here, and I'm clicking over here, and nothing is happening. I just have this red line appearing. So this is happening because I am no longer in draw mode. So if you look at the top here, draw mode is not active, and I am now in move mode. So while doing topology, you may have accidentally hit the hotkey of W or E or R on your keyboard, which is going to switch you out of draw mode and now put you into move scale or rotate mode. Now when you're in move mode, you can select a point and move it across the surface of your mesh but you won't be able to add or remove that point unless you go back to draw mode. So if I go back to draw mode over here, I'm now gonna be able to add a point, remove a point, and use those processes I was able to do originally. So if you find that you're not able to move a point while using the Z-sphere topology process, just make sure that you are in draw mode and not move, scale, or rotate. Because if you're in any of these modes, the functionality of the Z-spheres will change. So if I'm in rotate mode here, I'm gonna be able to just do this. If I'm in scale, nothing's gonna really happen at all. So I'm not gonna be able to do anything. And then if I'm in move, I'll be able to move that point. But if you wanna do any editing, you need to make sure you are in draw mode. Now, another final thing of note when using the topology function inside a ZBrush, if you're zoomed in a lot on your mesh like this and you try to rotate while you're in draw mode, you're not going to be able to because the default functionality is to draw a point on your mesh. So if you're zoomed in like this and you want to reset your view, you can come over here and use this zoom 3D option here, or you can switch back to move mode, and then now you can use the traditional alt click navigation to zoom and rotate around your model. So if you want to navigate around the surface of your mesh as you're editing the topology, you may have to switch to move mode to do that, and then after you get your view back to where you want it to be, you can switch back to draw mode and then start editing the topology on your surface. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.